Hello friends, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing and also like the video. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. This is the only way you can help the channel grow. Okay, so now my good friends, um, the full paper for Mathematics Paper 1 2024 internal is on our new channel Chiwe Matipeta the Tutor so that's where I will be posting a lot of uh, videos there okay a lot of videos this channel has some issues so we want to concentrate on the other channel so please do the well to, to subscribe to that uh, to, to our new channel all right so that we also grow that channel all right so without wasting much of the time let's get it started Question 21, write the three inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. On the diagram below. So we have three inequalities as you can see here. We have one, two, and three. Okay? And this is five marks. And this question doesn't miss in the exam. Okay? It's every year. It's every year. Okay? So now, let's get it started. Check. I always tell my students that we always start with the line or inequalities that are vertical or horizontal. So if you can see here, this is horizontal. So we're going to start with this one. Then we'll end with these two uh, diagonal inequalities that are in diagonal. So check. First, we're going to... This, this, this line is cutting Y axis, right? y is at y is equals to what at y is equals to 4 so as you can see this is y is equals to what is equals to 4 okay y is equals to 4 but this is not the answer are we together that is not the answer the final answer we have to write in uh, in form of what inequalities are we together check look at the the the, the shading first okay the shading is on the what greater than and the wanted region is on the what less than so here we're going to say y is less than now are we going to put o or just see less than check the nature of the line is a broken line or a dashed what dashed line meaning we're not going to put o we're just going to put four Okay, so this is the first inequality. We've answered the question. Simple, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, it is very simple. The wanted region is on the less than me party and the unwanted is on the what? On the greater than me, greater than party. Are we together? Very good. Very, very good. Okay? So, so, Let's go to the second inequality. So the second inequality, this is what we're going to do, my good friends. Second inequality, first you get the, let's, start, let's, let's get with this one. Let's get the coordinates first. This coordinate x is negative four, y is zero. So we're going to write here, negative four comma zero. And what is the value of x here? If you can see, it's negative six comma four, negative six comma four. So those are the coordinates we have. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to panic, but we're going to do what? To just to solve. Are we together? To solve. Now, how are we solving this? It is very simple, guys. I usually tell my students that you use this formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 is equals to Y minus y1 over x minus x what x1 you see how simple this is uh-huh it is simple all right it is simple because you are calculate you are finding the the y intercept and the gradient at the same time okay so let's substitute this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 Okay, so, so, let's substitute, where, where, where there is y2, we're going to substitute with 4 minus 
where there is y1 we're going to substitute with what zero as you can see there we're going we are going to substitute with the uh, zero okay then um over x2 is what negative six minus x1 is negative what negative four this is the, uh, this is how i'm going to write negative four like this okay is equals to y is just y minus y1 is zero okay y2 i mean x is just x minus x1 is negative what negative negative four okay like that this is a four so we are going to solve what is four minus zero four minus zero is what is four over this is negative since so negative positive so negative six plus four is negative what negative two is equals to is equals to y minus zero is just y over negative times negative positive so in other words here we have x plus what x plus four are we together x plus e? x plus four now, if you notice here, negative 2 can go into, neg into 4. Negative 2 into 4 is e, negative. It's negative 2. Okay. Negative 2 is equal to y over x plus what? x plus 4. Then we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to write this one over 1. Then we cross what? We cross multiply. Okay. 1 times y is e, y is equal to so this you're going to multiply negative 2 with everything negative 2 times x negative 2 x negative times positive here it is negative 2 times 4 is 8 are we together 8 now we need to write the final answer as the in what inequality are we together as the, the inequality so we check look at this is the, this is the what we are solving here the wanted region the wanted region is on the greater than side and the unwanted is on the less than what the, the, the less than side so here we're going to write y is greater than because the unwanted the wanted region is on the what greater than so we're going to say is greater than greater than then check the line is a solid what is a solid line so we're going to write o equal to negative 2x minus 8 okay and this is the second word the second inequality what is the second what second inequality all right number two now let's let's solve the last one this line eh? let's solve this line so we're going to get the coordinates of course like i said get the coordinates this is negative 4 comma 0 so negative 4 comma 0 then this is 0 comma 4 all right that is 0 comma 4 this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 the formula is just the same y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equals to y minus y1 over x minus x1 are we together good so let's substitute y2 we're going to substitute with what 4 so we're going to say 4 minus y1 is 0 over uh, x2 is 0 minus x1 negative 4 okay then y is just y minus y1 zero over okay are you following mm -hmm. all right then here we're going to say uh, x minus x1 is negative four okay then now we can solve four minus zero is four negative is negative positive zero plus four is just four like this y minus zero is just y negative is negative positive so just have x plus four all right so 
we can divide here before we cross multiply 4 can go into 4 4 into 4 1 is equals to so y over x plus 4 over 1 here so that we cross multiply 1 times y will be y then 1 times everything here 1 will not change anything so it will be just d x plus 4 now we shouldn't leave our answer as an equation because this is an equation but we are asked to come up with any what uh -huh. Correct, inequalities. So check here, check the nature of the line is a solid line, so we're going to have uh, or, or equal to then the, the shading is on the less than part this side, okay? So here we are going to use greater than, okay? Greater than or equal to, it's opposite, are we together? Is opposite so here it will be y is greater than or equal to x plus 4 and this is the y this is the answer so now in the uh, in exam in the exam this is where you write your answers okay the first answer was x or y is less than 4 the second one this one y is at least okay like this 2x minus 8 okay the last one is uh, y to be at least x plus 4 okay that's it if i still together to this point please remember to search for 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 this channel chibwe matepeta the tutor so that you enjoy a lot of lessons from that side okay so stay blessed as we meet on the other side